Hi Aries, welcome to your love read. This will be from September 11th through the 17th. What's coming out for you? Hope you guys are doing fantastic and all is well. Uh, we're going to start with you and then jump over to the other person on the other side. Uh, I'll lay some tarot on this too, uh, as we will have a uh, extended, uh, you know, into this read too as well. All right. So give me a few more cards, uh, three more cards for Aries. What do we have? Uh, two. Oh, you've got some good stuff coming in here. All right. And uh, give me one more. What do we get? Ah, nice. All right, guys. All right. So what do we have for you here? Bottom of the deck, summer solstice. This is beautiful energy. I like this energy, guys. So this is really all about, you know, focusing in on your radiance. You are just shining bright. Let's just let's just lay it out, okay? <laughs> You're just shining so bright, all right? And it's a, it's all about, you know, it's almost as if this, this is kind of like the sun card, okay? Um, but it is all about, uh, you know, that, that, that summer, the beautiful rays of energy coming through here. Um, yeah, I feel that this is an opportunity for you to kind of like, uh, uh, it's like, I don't know, the summer solstice, as you guys know, is like, like the, the, um, it, it comes, it comes, it's like, it's like, it leads to one of the longest days of the year and there's celebrations. There's a lot of passion and playfulness. And I feel that you're taking on this energy at this moment. Okay. So I feel that, uh, uh, this is about maybe something is stationary and stopped, you know, within the sun. And, and again, that's why they, that's, that's why it's there. Okay. Um, so I feel that this is about like letting the sun radiate within you, let the sun inspire you and shine forth. Um, just, it wants you would, if in a love situation to release Aries, um, you know, your concerns of what may happen in the future and just focus on appreciating the love that you have right now that is good and right, okay, is what, I, what I'm getting, okay? So it might, you might have a desire to get outside and to see the light, you know, during this time. It, there is a lot of abundance here from this, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. It's going to shine bright here, Aries, okay? Um, yeah, look at, look at the dawn, the dawn, the rising, the new beginning is coming through here. So in a, in a situation or in your love life, you're experiencing some sort of some sort of new beginning for you here, okay? Um, and, you know, there, we've got a new moon that is taking place in Virgo on September 14th. And that it also talks about a time for productivity, getting things done, being, you know, it's, it's about no longer uh, focusing on back, you know, going backward. Uh, you know, the day after the new moon, Mercury retrograde ends. So, uh, you know, there, it, it's still in there when Virgo comes in the new moon, but it, it but, it, but, you know, on the, on the 14th there, cause it ends the 15th. But this is saying is that you can still focus on, uh, there will be like second chances, new beginnings. And this is, this is perfect timing for you because the universe is working in conjunction with you. Okay. So I feel that this is a beautiful, beautiful time to be able to move forward. Um, Wow. Yeah, it, it's some sort of dawn. Uh, it's it's a new beginning, and and it's all about what's crossing you is a release. All right, releasing that of the past, uh, releasing what is uh, you know what is no longer working for you here. So it's about releasing anything in terms of a, a connection or a way of thinking, doing, or you know something of the sort. Okay, um, because it's I there there the start of a new day begins. And this is about like, this is a time to say farewell to the old and to welcome in and release the past and to welcome in the new. And by releasing any self-imposed, you know, constraints, uh, you know, or resistance to the truth that you really know now is allowing you to embark on the adventure that you've dreamed of, especially in your love life. So I want you to remember that, okay? Um, embarking on that adventure uh, whatever you've dreamed of, it's about taking those risks and you're initiating your intuitive self. Um, you know, well, the things that your intuitive self has been telling you to do and it's starting. All right. It's time. It's time guys. All right. Uh, let's take a look at anything else. Let's pull some tarot on this. Uh, there's a deck that I want to use here. It is. Okay. This is the one I want to use. All right. So let's take a look. Let's pull some tarot about where you're at at this moment. So what's coming out for Aries? Uh, beautiful Aries. All right. What's coming out for Aries? What do we have? I almost feel like I need to shuffle this a few times more because the cards, there we go. We've got to get the flow coming through here is what I'm getting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. All right. What do we get? Uh, talk about release. The 10 of wands couldn't have been the most perfect card for this. And it's your fire energy. 
It's time to release. Yeah, it's you, you see it in the four. It's time to release. Yeah, uh, release the things that uh, are been your burden that have been burdening you down that aren't yours to carry. Okay, burdens that you just don't need to take with you. A ten is about could be about your career and your vocation as well. For some of you, 10th house is your achievement in this world. It's allowing you to achieve by letting go of the past, all right? Uh, and then I get the Knight of Cups, and it allows for free expression of love. Now, you might have a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces coming towards you here, because uh, the Knight of Cups is a romantic expression. So, you know, I think if you release something that allows you to express better, or you've got someone coming in for you here, okay? Uh, anything else? Uh, there's a message. A message of some sort of uh, uh, some sort of in, in, in enthusiastic discovery of some sort. I think there is some sort of uh, synchronicity coming through here. You might be starting a new project, um, and this is the strategy behind it. But a lot of you, it's in love, developing a strategy in love, and you're noticing uh, what you need to change, and you're making great progress. Fire energy. You're developing a strategy with the three of wands, and then the two of wands says, hey, I'm making progress in my world now. Yep, I'm making progress in my world. Give me anything else that wants to come through for you. What is it that we get in terms of your love life? What wants to come through? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction that comes through. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry, I was trying to get the most of that siren to go out. Okay, so bless that soul. But I'll tell you, if I had a dollar for every time that I heard a siren, my mortgage would be paid every month. <laughs> It's kind of like what your parents would say, right? Or something of the sort, you know, or, you know, if I had a dollar for every time that happened, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh. Well, bless that soul um, getting the help that they need. It's just, oh boy. Oh. All right, guys, let's take a look. <laughs> let's take a look. There's someone that's coming through for you here and there's a strong attraction. All right. So I do get that that's coming through here. All right. Uh, sorry, I digressed. <laughs> what do we get? Yeah, after, you know, maybe out of some sort of, uh, you know, uh, past situation to where um, you were in some sort of outdated thinking. And so now you're changing that, that replay. Maybe that's why I talk about the past. You know, our, our parents are changing some sort of replaying of events over in your head. And you, you realize that there was some sort of outdated thinking that needs to be, uh, uh, that needs to change. So there's past conditioning that needs to change uh, that is coming out for you here. Uh, anything that uh, would be important for you to uh, know that would be important uh, to come out. Let's take a look at any other message uh, that comes out for you regarding that. What do we get uh, for Aries? What do we get? Sanctuary. Yeah, wanting that peace. See, there you go, guys. Finding a better sanctuary, okay? Uh, so this could be that maybe a, a place to where it's calm near a lake you need to go to, all right? Yeah, guys, I'm getting that it's time to go to where someplace is a little bit more quiet. That's why I'm getting this message here. Going near the lake, you know, uh, reading a good book, uh, spending some time, um, you know, near water, uh, or maybe just near your animals, uh, you know, and some, creating a sanctuary in your home for yourself, uh, or, or like me, find a different home, <laughs> okay? I'm blessed where I'm at, but I will tell you I'm ready. I'm ready, okay? Uh, so here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So I get uh, sanctuary. Now, I do get what you need to focus in on is a reflection, all right? There's some sort of reflection at this moment. Uh, you know, maybe something is on ice in a connection or in a situation. So there could be something of the sort that, that's coming through here. Um, yeah, I feel that right now it could be that it could be that you are focused in on something's frozen, like something's not changing at this moment for some sort of reason. And yeah, got some sort of itch. All right. So yeah, something's not, something's not changing. Uh, it's like, uh, you I think you're reflecting on the past before you move forward. And it's, you, you, you this is an opportunity to be able to do that. So reflection, uh, reflecting on something, um, taking your time. Let's pull some care on this and see what comes out. Uh, success. Yeah, you're, you're reflecting on what it wants you to do is focus on um, focus on your success after reflection. You've had enough time here. It looks like that you are now success. Yes, look at this. 
you reflected on the past crisis in the past there, you know, and I feel that you're putting that to an end. It's not that you're thinking about it. It's in the ending of it. You've already kind of like let that go. And now this is growth, prosperity, success, and abundance. You've made some major improvement here. You're having some sort of success. It wants you to focus on success in love or in your life. Um, and this is a uh, Hierophant energy, uh, excuse me, Hermit energy, which is focusing in on going within and shining the light. Like you've gone within Virgo energy. And now that you're making a change in your life, the universe is helping you out, guys. This, the, what you need to focus in on is go within, shift and change direction instead of focusing on something that you feel cannot be changed. This is coming to an end. You're having victory and success with fire energy after going within and being able to move forward, all right? I think that you're focusing in also on moderation in a situation, okay? Um, moderation, uh, anything else? What do we get? What do we get? Pay attention to the red flags, yes. Pay attention to what keeps you stuck. Pay attention to what keeps you stuck because that's not going to bring victory for you. It's time to let that part go now, okay? Uh, you're developing your own sanctuary in love. And so the signs are cautioned. You're going to know when you see it. Uh, anything else? Yeah, pay attention to the red flags, but also stay optimistic about your love life is coming through. All right. What you need to focus in on is the full moon. The full moon is going to be in your sign on September 29th. All right. So this is beautiful, guys. Your strength is the full moon that's coming up that could actually tie the bow on the situation for completion. If some of you aren't there yet, just hold on tight because it's coming, all right? There's a sense of some sort of completion, all right? But I think that some of you may have reached that point. And, um, you know, so this is saying really focus on what it is that you want during this time and put the, that into fruition on the 14th of the new moon so then on the 29th you can celebrate some sort of completion. It's in your strength position. It's the circle of life. Some sort of growth during the full moon, all right? So I feel that um, I feel that this is an opportunity for you to uh, you really focus on the lunar cycles and pay attention, guys, to my moon reads as well, okay? Because um, they they'll I have a message come out specifically just for you, and that is about like letting go, okay? So not enjoy the completion and allow yourself to relax right after, all right? Um, you know, relax after before you start, okay? Because some people are too you know, are focused too much on and want to move forward too fast. No, I want you to focus in on it and have that pause. Um, I do get the Queen of Swords. So this is blocking something out. This is knocking something out that doesn't fit, you know, kind of move forward with you. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you're being very perceptive about this completion and really cutting it out if you haven't done so already for some of you, okay? This could be a person, place, or thing, uh, and I'm getting a lot of uh, sword energy, uh, which is air, and then I'm getting a lot of uh, earth and fire, okay? Uh, so what else? Yeah, it's going to, no more will you be contemplating on this anymore. I think you're moving forward. Look at the river is moving you forward. Moving down the river, okay? Not row upstream, but actually row down with the flow, all right? So, you know, it's 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 going with the flow and bending with the with the scenario, with the, uh, you know, with the lunar cycles and with the, the cycle that you're going through with this Wheel of Fortune. There's a new cycle. It's a, There's something new around the bend here, okay? Right around the bend, there's something new. All right, so let's take a look. You've got movement happening to balance something out. Yes. So in the near future here, uh, within this week, I get this is coming through here. Um, justice energy, Libra energy to overcome some sort of, uh, you know, uh, this could have to do with memories of the past. Six of Cups. Memories of the past in some sort of way. Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do we get? Yeah, you're bringing harmony to your mind. All right, you're, you're, you're bringing harmony and you're tapping into your intuition and being intuitive, right, uh, is what I get. You're overcoming, it's a 10, and now you're focused on your brand new creativity that is born before you at this moment. Movement of brand new creativity. There's communication of creativity and you're breaking through that. Yeah, you're breaking through the shadow self, right? And you're, you're, you're taking off the mask for some sort of rebirth. All right, is what I'm getting. Ooh, I like this. No more clinging to the past. All right, it's changing. You've changed. That caused obstacles for you, it seemed like there. All right, anything else? This could be the one. You could be meeting someone because you let go of the past. I almost feel that it comes through because you do. All right, 
because you let go of some sort of past conditioning of some sort, that cassette tape that came out, right? Uh, anything else for Aries? What do we get? What do we get for Aries? Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. And it could be that you are afraid of commitments. Uh, maybe you didn't just trust what you were feeling because things move too fast. But that's what I'm getting. Um, I do get your suggested approach is to acknowledge your innocence as a child, all right? Some sort of innocence is coming through here. So it could be like as a child, um, yeah, that there was, uh, you know, you didn't know better. You only knew what you were taught until you grew up even further as an adult and are able to make the changes within your life, okay? So I do get childhood. That's beautiful, guys. Oh, I like this for you here. I think that this is uh, an opportunity, uh, an opportunity to create some sort of shift. Uh, it's it's moving forward where the, the light, right? The wisdom that you accrued was come from your life experience. If you didn't go through this, you couldn't chalk it up as a learning experience and that that light couldn't guide you through the dark passage, okay? So connecting with source, it wants you to come back to your innocence too and to find that innocence and become aware uh, that that playfulness and you're, that you're this rebirth, right? That you're being able to be born again, okay? The challenges that you face throughout your life have shaped your, your personality and your character now. Now things have shifted, okay? So you, 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 you can encounter moments where there's been disappointment and loss and now, uh, you know, the hard times and the layers of anger are, 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 are no longer being blocked. You are you're, you're letting it flow and you're letting it move on to that next chapter of life force for you, and especially in your, your, your love life, okay? But your past had a lot to do with it, all right? Yeah, I get a page of wands. A message coming through, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, could be a message about your childhood coming through that affects your stability. Stability in a connection and stability in your life, okay? It affected your stability. And now you've got this page of pentacles, a message coming through of a new manifestation, a new beginning, a new beginning in love. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I do get fire energy as well, all right? What you need to know is follow your instincts with that wolf energy. Follow your instincts, all right? Moving forward, follow your instincts uh, and have and, and reach out and express and have love and compassion, all right? Love and compassion are going to be very, very key. Focus in on love, all right? Focus in on having compassion, reaching out. Uh, you know, this is healing energy. You're attracting love, all right? So, um, yeah, that's what this is saying. You, you route healing in, into love and compassion towards everything. Ooh. Look inside you. And I will say, guys, do whatever it is to focus on the love. Look inside you and you're going to see the love for you. You have a rebirth. There's a rebirth. This could be in a connection or just in your whole brand new cycle in love. You've got some sort of rebirth that is happening here, okay? A rebirth in love. This could be with a person, place, or thing. But I get, I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. And this could be for those of you that, you know, maybe it's for a soulmate. Maybe that you're working on yourself uh, because you've realized something in a connection and it's brought something to life. What about this other person? What do we get? They have lots of choices with the Seven of Cups. There's some illusion there. But this is about taking action and moving forward on faith. They got lots of choices, but they're moving forward with House of Partnership. Yeah, they're moving forward on faith with the Ten of Pentacles. Dang. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. So this person has a lot of options, but they're having faith in moving forward towards their legacy and union. Give me a card in this Ten of Pentacles. What do we get? Yes, the new vitality. The vitality that, that I've been talking to you about you to, to take aboard. This person, this about playfulness. It's coming together with new vitality. They have new vitality after something. They're moving forward on faith, putting in, on, on their legacy and union and moving forward to build legacy. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe a, someone who's a little bit younger, perhaps. Uh, that could be the case, but I do get new vitality. I get uh, earth. Earth and water coming through here and air. What else? Wedding. Oh my gosh, this situation might involve a wedding. This person is developing and working hard to build a legacy. It could be having to do with some sort of wedding. Give me a card on this wedding. Creator, it's blessed by source. 
and uh, it is about uh, celebration, celebration, coming forth as celebration, a communication of this. What does this person need to focus in on? Bossing up. This is Aries energy. They need to focus in on you. <laughs> this is you. I mean, it's your energy. Uh, they could have, you know, fire in their chart, but this is about bossing up for a strong, solid foundation. And I feel that that's exactly what they're building with this Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, give me anything more. Knight of Swords. Now motioning forward. We got the Page of Swords. Now we got the Knight of Swords motioning forward. So the Knight of Swords is coming forward fast. All right. What else? Uh, and they're moving on to calmer waters. All right. They're they're out of the mind. And there's that Page of Swords. There's the message. There's someone's going to be coming forward to deliver a message. This person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting interesting what they need to focus in on anything else what they need to focus in on healing family issues they have to forgive their parents so they can move forward all right so maybe their love life is benefiting from that's what i'm getting their strength position is the king of wands aries leo sagittarius this could be a fellow of an entrepreneur this person is a very creative person okay and you could get some communication from them. I get the Three of Cups. They could be in your community and a part of your friendship circle right now. Or this is someone that you're already dealing with, okay? This person is being asked to uh, focus in on and boss off on their entrepreneurship. But also, um, this is about uh, uh, coming together. I do get the King of Swords as well. So I do get King of Swords and the King of Wands. You might have an opportunity or a choice between an air and a fire sign here, guys. Uh, this person, if they're taking on all this energy, they're very super smart. They're creating a new endeavor and, uh, you know, their own business, perhaps. They're a visionary or a leader in what they do. And I get the Three of Cups, which is all about, uh, uh, you know, friendship and community and coming together, okay? Uh, anything else in their strength position? What do we get? They're being asked to make the effort in love and to go for it, okay? Interesting. Near future, what do we get for this person? I sabotage this connection and I regret it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, guys. Uh, anything else? What else do we get? Yeah, they're having a changing of perception with the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And now they're balancing the new energy. They're getting used to the new energy and being flexible and adapting. They're going to be coming forward, guys. I'm going to tell you, I get the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, moving forward passionately and uh, adventure, passion. Uh, now that they perhaps maybe balance things out, uh, I do get the King of Cups after they balance their emotions. Okay, guys, I'm going to take it to extend. We'll find out when this uh, is coming, the timing surrounding that next steps, and see if it equates to this. We'll find out, uh, uh, you know, what they haven't told you, what they want most. We'll find out what really makes this connection work this week and how to uphold it successfully. Uh, what you want most, what you haven't told them, what you hope the next steps to be. Uh, we'll do messages from both sides and also a big potential outcome with Oracle advice. So I'm going to go deep. If you guys are interested, click the link in the description box below. If you've made it this far, guys, smash that like button for your girl. Uh, note your comments and uh, subscribe. And I look forward to next time. Namaste.